Steve Gamash here with another Chef Knives to Go quick look product review and what we're looking at this time is a Nakiri. This is the Hiroshi Kato uh, Kuruuchi Algami Super Nakiri 165mm knife. So the core steel is what's known as Algami Blue Paper Super Reactive High Carbon Steel from Hitachi. Heat treats about 62 Rockwell so fairly conservative heat treat for some um, durability and uh, forgiveness. The construction is uh, three layers, so on either side of that harder core steel, you've got a um, soft iron cladding on either side of that, which is reactive as well, so it's an all-reactive blade. There's no stainless or anything on it. And that cladding has a smooth Kudauchi blacksmith finish on top of that. Uh, the weights and edge length and dimensions and such are going to vary a little bit from knife to knife since these are hand hammered, handmade. This particular one is about 163 grams or 5.7 ounces. And the edge length, I'll, when I basically take the edge length from the heel, the chin here, to where you start hitting the curve and kind of run out of useful area, and it's about 160. Um, it's about 2, or excuse me, 12.2 uh, inches on the overall length. And the spine thickness coming out of the handle, it it thins down real fast to about three millimeters above the back of the blade, and then just kind of a slight taper off of that to two, maybe two and a half, and then just holds that to the end at the front end of the top of the blade. And then uh, the blade height, I measure those in two spots. So at the back, it's about 53.1 millimeters on this sample, and the middle, it's about 54.2. So I usually give you two measurements because. Uh, often the kitties get a little taller as they get towards the front of the blade. Handle is kind of a standard style you see on a lot of knives. It's an oval ambidextrous rosewood with a black pack of wood ferrule. Nice fit and finish on the handle. Slight, kind of, you can feel a slight bump between the ferrule and the rosewood, but it's not much and it's really not objectionable. If you felt like sanding it, you could do that if you wanted to. Nice tight handle install. The handle's not real long. Um, but it's the uh, diameter is pretty standard for this style. It's about 75 millimeters or three inches in diameter, or not diameter, in circumference, about where the ferrule meets the rosewood. Pretty standard size. And they put these, uh, they leave enough neck on these uh, behind the choil here where you can put your finger there. Unless you've got really big fingers, you should be able to put your finger there and get a nice uh, crook there for a pinch grip. So it looks good for a pinch grip. And when you do that, the, the balance on this blade is, for me, it's almost right on the money for a pinch grip. So what that does is it may be slightly in front, but pretty close, and that gives you kind of a nice neutral feel. But yet, this has enough mass to it where you've got a little bit of chopping power, as a lot of Nikitis should be. That's kind of the style of the knife. So um, let's take a close-up look at the blade. So they put their kanji on the left side of the blade, and so you've got hand-chiseled kanji on top of that smooth, that... Kudauchi blacksmith finish, so it's a little hard to see some of the fine details on the kanji, but it's well done, it's nicely executed. You've got a kind of a nice sandblast finish on the blade road here, and they even have a little bit of kind of a layering effect to the cladding as they thin it out, so it's kind of a cool look. And there's your edge on here. Um, this was uh, I'm going to give it a good 6 out of 10. It was pretty doggone sharp out of the box. They put a uh, well-crafted edge bevel on, and it's polished pretty well. It's got some polish to it, so it seems pretty doggone sharp right out of the box. I've used the uh, 210 Guto in this new line, and it's a really good performing knife, so this should be as well. Um, I was pretty impressed with the performance. It's, uh, the grind is pretty asymmetric on this one versus the Guto is almost 50-50, so they could just be anomalies between individual knives, so they could, you know, you could get one that's 50-50 or not. They ground pretty thin at the edge. On this particular knife, the um, left side of the blade is ground flatter. There's not as much of a, of a bump going into the blade road um, as there is on the right side of the blade, so you've got more of a shoulder on the right side of the blade. So if you're a righty, that should give you a little bit better food release. Um, I would think, though, probably even if you're a lefty, it shouldn't affect things too much. But just FYI. And again, a different blade could be crowned a little bit differently. The profile, let's take a look at it. Craftsmanship is, is nicely done. You've got a little bit of rustic character to it. They do relieve the choil and the neck a little bit and also the spine a little bit. But it's not like super polished, but uh, they've where they've 
put the work in on these as it counts right at the edge on those grinds. So here's the profile, and it is a flat Nikiti profile. There's nothing curvy about it. So you can see, let me move this up a little. My camera likes to focus on the middle. So, so here's your profile. And you can see it is flat. So it kind of stops into the heel. You've got that curved tip, so you could rock this a little bit, but it's going to hit a stop. It's not like it's going to just kind of flow because it's really flat. So that heel kind of pops into a stop there. So, But most people pick a Nikiti for chopping purposes, so it'll excel at that. So it's just a nice option. If you're looking for a handcrafted knife with a Kuda Uchi finish with Algami Super, this might be another really viable option than Mark's arsenal here. So this is the Kato, uh, Hiroshi Kato Kuruuchi Aogami Super Nakiri 165 millimeter knife.